how can we change our attitude towards each other if the whole world is squeezing one another for money? Perhaps money, the cause of all selfishness, should be eliminated. No. No? No way. Money is the universal equivalent for effort. Not just effort, but personal exertion that shows how much one has succeeded in using the special talents given to him from above. Let's say, for instance, you are smarter than I, and thus are more successful, whereas I am less so. I'm stronger. Somewhat stronger or luckier in some way, or acquired something by chance. It can also be measured by money, therefore having a universal equivalent is essential. Don't you think this equivalent is in fact the major problem? No, on the contrary, it's not a bad thing at all, no way. How can we measure a person if not by money? Shh. <laughs> How can this be? Money is an abomination, people dying for coins and so on. Perfectly understand the role of money. I need to make others small. You can't measure a person, and we still need to evaluate people and their efforts. Do you think it is necessary to measure our efforts? Well, yes. How? In kilograms? In centimeters? Honestly speaking, I don't think the measurement unit should be money. Then what? Give me an appropriate equivalent. Well, decency, honesty. Meaning what? How will you measure decency? The way you treat people. That's how I'd measure it. You'll be confused. Really? Yes. Well, I don't know. It's often depicted that those who have a lot of money earned their wealth dishonestly. As far as I remember, it was said so in the book, The Golden Calf. So I'm still trying to understand what the equivalent should be, but you say it's impossible. Yes, impossible. Money is kesif in Hebrew, derived from the word kisuf, the covering. When you cover your efforts correctly, the measure of covering your efforts is called kesif. Here we imply spiritual efforts and spiritual results. Yes, precisely. However, I thought you were talking about money here in this material world. Well, it applies to this world as well. Even in this world? Even this world. Everyone will be outraged. Do not envy. Okay, so money cannot be withdrawn from this world because in this case there will be no equivalency? Only if we replace them with the next equivalent. Which one? Relationships. Relationships? Relationships is when we understand our relationships to one another and share them among each other and the Creator. When the Creator becomes our common equivalency, then all of the dimensions will disappear except for the real internal relationships among us. This is called Mesachen or Hoser. The screen and the reflected light. What will happen next? In fact, it is what we mean by coins, hard cash, as they say. Hard cash. And what will it mean when we say, I am rich or he is rich? It will mean I have the power to resist my egoism and place others above myself, that's all. This is the measure of our rapprochement, unification, the measure of our bestowal. Is this what's called wealth? Yes. Wealth is about how much of myself I can give to others. Oh my, everything is topsy-turvy. And that's the root, right? That's where it all started? Yes. And degraded to simple cash. Actually, we must go down to the very bottom and clearly see the entire truth of our relationships and only then will they change. So as you always say, we must go to the very bottom before we can go up, right? It is the Creator that will lift us up. Our job is to realize this fact and ask for it. You see, I keep making the same mistake, saying I will rise. And you keep correcting me, saying the Creator will lift me up. Nothing really depends on me except for the request to Him. Yes. Don't worry, He will lift you up. <laughs>